Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Now this guy Brian has been emailing me the last few days regarding some topics he has on some of his scenes in Lightwave. Uh, one of his problem is uh, he is making this uh, shelf system uh, for a store or something like that and uh, he's having a lot of bottles of uh, shampoo or something like that in different uh, types of shampoo on the shelves here and uh, the problem is that uh, all his uh, bottles of course is uh, modeled with sub patching but uh, when he tries to render the scene it gets kinda heavy cause all the bottles uh, adding up he's getting about 5 million polygons so it's getting kinda intensive for, for him uh, also uh, render time wise so I thought I will uh, do a little uh, tutorial here on um, showing him a little trick here and of course all of you guys out there who uh, come visit my website also check out my YouTube site there are some of my tutorials there as well in a higher resolution but um, stay tuned here and I'll show you a little something here you can use um, let's start by wrapping up a little shampoo bottle here I have zoomed in as you see two centimeters here on my grid so I can start model a little kind of bottle here so I do like this and I will then extend up here and I'll scale down a bit and take this and extend out scale in a bit like this it's just for a rough model here so you can see what I'm I'm talking about but you you'll get the full idea when when you see what's actually going on here so and extend again and extend again and pull in and extend and pull up just here to make the bottom now if I hit uh, my sub patch now, uh, which is the tap key, you'll see how it smooths this bottle out here. Um, let's just give it a little more shape here by dragging this out and I'll try make a little top here. Pull this up, extend again this up, extend again, drag this out a bit and extend again. But again this is uh, this is just for display so it could be anything. Like this and let's take this and drag in a bit and take these two and pull these closer together like this we have this mighty fine shampoo bottle here now okay uh, right now I'm not getting any errors here uh, though I have some polys up here that is not a uh, quad that's because I'm uh, sub patching in Catmull Clark I'll turn this into a uh, normal sub patch just for fun to display how I just le will fix this here by selecting these points and hitting the L to connect and the L to connect I'll take these three and pull up a bit and in the button here they are already linked so here we have a nice shampoo bottle I'll save this. Let's test here. Sub patch uh, level of detail. Let's call it that. And here I will say shampoo. Now I'll send this over to my uh, layout. Um, ta da! I had layout starting twice, that's why my hub is not working. Um, Subpatch level of detail. Oh, plus 
sub patch level of detail. Here we go. Now, of course, as many of you know, um, sub patch theory is uh, defined. Uh, the level of detail of the sub patch is defined by um, the geometric settings here, the geometry settings here in the object properties. So, if I pull it down here, you can see you have here the the value for what you've seen in the display here, so you can put this to 1, or you could push it to 8 if you like, and you could get a nice smooth surface. Let me add to you who may be not be familiar with sub patches, you see the small uh, quads here. When you are this small, do, do not rise the sub patch any, anymore. You can do with less and then add smooth on the surface instead. But for now, I'll display you here. Um, I'll say uh, two here in the display, and I'll say um, three here or six here. You see, if I render at one, I'll try to uh, test render here, and puff. I got the bottle here at one sub patch division. Now, if I set this to five, of course, it will divide up. So five, and then you see here, now I have 5,500 polygons, and it's a lot smoother. Uh, and that's a problem now, because if you had, like say, a hundred of these in the scene, that'll uh, quickly be a lot of polygons. Uh, but the thing is that your camera is not always close to all the bottles at the same time, and I'm going to use this to to control here the, the level of the subdivision. So. I'll go here and hit the texture button and then I will go to the gradient here and I will set the, my value here. First here at the input parameter I'll set distance to camera. Then I have zero here and I have 10 meters here. Now this is a small shampoo bottle so I'll set this to just say one meter here and I'll make a point down here and I'll say when it's here it's uh, value 1, but when I'm really close to it, yeah, I want it to be value 6. And you get a gradient looking like this. Now what that's going to do is that if I now go to my camera view and uh, I stay, let's say if I look in the top view here, we have 10 centimeters, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So about a meter is around out here, that's one meter. So if I look at my bottle now, I can rotate it over here and I can and if I render now you see my bottle is pretty low polygon. But what I do then is I move the camera closer whoops like this say for instance and I render again. And you see already now the bottle is a lot smoother than it was before on distance. And again I'll move the camera even closer and you see if I render now the bottle is really smooth now. So that way you can control with using the distance of the camera um, how uh, the level of the detail of the sub patching is in the scene, and that of course will work with all uh, all the bottles here on the shelves. If you had uh, say 100 bottles or something, the distance of the camera then could control you uh, your distance here. Um, another thing I w would like to notice here is uh, the way this is working. Because if I take this bottle here and I rotate it like this. So we can see the edges here of it, like this. There are several ways to work this out. If I go a little closer here, and I render, and I go up to, let's first add some edges here. We'll just add anything here, and I'll then render. You can see here the value of polygons. But the value of polygons on the subpatch is the same division all over the object. 
if I get closer to the object itself and render again, it will get even closer. Of course, if I rise the value on the division um, geometry here and say this one is value, say, 12, then you'll see that there's a lot of polygons here, but it's the same uh, value all over the object. Also, if I then drag out to the distance here again, still it's the same volume. It's lower now, of course, because I have to go all the way out to one meter. But you see now, there's very little polygons. But the problem here is, this is uh, how you get closer to the object itself. Now imagine if you were making one huge landscape, say uh, one kilometer times one kilometer or something like that, uh, this effect would not work correctly. Because as you get closer to the, the, the object itself, to the landscape with the camera, uh, the entire landscape would divide up and become one billion polygons or something like that. Now to display the, the method I told about with the landscape, I've made a simpler object here, but uh, which is bigger than the shampoo bottle uh, to demonstrate what you, how you can benefit of this. Uh, I have here set up um, the division again, but per polygon level, and I have now set 1 meter here and 0 here and division by 8 distance to camera here again. And now if I render, you'll see here, already at a distance you can see the closest polygons here on the object is uh, divided somewhat more than these here on the back side due to the distance of the camera. Uh, and that's what per, per polygon can, can do for you in li this type of situation. Um, if I move closer, like here, you start to see an even more significant difference between this here and this over here. And as the camera gets closer, it'll be more and more detailed. But still, the ones in the distance, as you see here, will be more low polygon. And that, of course, is due to which value you set. I set this to, to 0 or 1. You could set this to 2 or 3 and then keep the closest polygons to say 8 or 10 or something like that. And by doing that you can uh, fix your landscape so you don't have to have a billion polygons in the landscape. So uh, I hope this tutorial can help you out there to, uh, to make something good out of this and uh, to get you through your scenes. So uh, good luck.